get his uh, name and, and let him file his little report that he wants to file because we're charging him with this is the supervisor of the records department. He does not know what his legal rights are. So as soon as he makes an official report, I'll have his information. We'll file a complaint and then he'll be dealt with. In my humble opinion, you want to know what's the only thing that's worse than a feelings-enforcing tyrant who infringes upon the rights of we the people? How about a feelings-enforcing tyrant that actively retaliates against the rights of we the people? Well, that's exactly what you're about to see in this footage here, caught on camera by Tyrant Terminator Audits. The infamous star of this video is, for the sake of simplicity, Kim, because I could not for the life of me remember her last name. But that really doesn't matter because, to me, she might as well be Kim Jong-un. But before we play that footage, everybody, we want you to know that we'll leave links down below to the full original video on Tyrant Terminator Audit's channel. And before we begin, everybody, make sure you subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the thumbs up button and notification bell, and let us know in the comments what you think about this interaction. And also make sure you check out our playlist to see the other auditors that we've highlighted before. Come on, what? Come out. For what? Because I'm asking you to come out as a sheriff. Come on. Well, I, I will when I'm done conducting my business. I will. You cannot record it. You can't have a camera on She just talked to the sheriff. And I am the sheriff. See this? See this? Okay. Are you the head sheriff? I'm the one in this building, so yes. Okay, okay so after I finish so conducting my business here. I'm not Ma'am, so you're going to allow me to speak? I, I definitely will. I definitely will. I, I, I hold your spot. I have official business here. <laughs> I'm going to hold your spot. Let him, I got to highlight him real quick. You, you, you can go past, man. Okay. You can go past. Come on, Let's go I, I just want to be able to conduct. Well, I, I know. I understand what you're saying, but I, I, it's so cool that they, it's okay to hear it. I'm, I'm not well, tripping. Because I don't want to be recorded either. Well, you're a sheriff, man. I understand. Ma'am, I got to finish my business. If I can finish that unmolested, I'll be good to go. You can, just don't record them. Record who? People behind the clerk's The public servants. Yes. Oh, well, we know anything my eyes can see, I can record. If they tell you that they do not want to be recorded, you have to you have to honor what they're asking and not record them. But if they work for the public, the state of Illinois says that I can record them. Okay, and then you're going to listen at me, respectfully. So you're not going to allow me to conduct the business. That's going to be a, a violation. Now, can, I, can you call a supervisor? I am Dude, okay, call your lieutenant. No, there is no lieutenant over here. I'm asking you because they have signs that say. That's correct. Right. That's correct. And that's just a suggestion. There's no statutes or codes to it, so. They're not going to serve. They're definitely is. She is. She was finna help me. I have to, I have to file a FOIA and everything, and that's a, and that's an also a right. So if you're going to step on those rights. Well, that's, go ahead, man. You're cool. You're cool. I understand they that. Have that right to ask that they, not be recorded. they can ask whatever they want. That's so right. You, you're saying your right supersedes their rights? That's what you're telling me. Well, they have a right. No, no, no. You're saying they have a right to ask me something. But they can't force me to stop doing something. <laughs> they, they cannot serve you. Oh, well, if they don't want to serve me, they said they're not going to serve me, then they'll be violating my rights. That's okay. I feel a, file a complaint and we'll go from there. If they say they're not going to serve me, I will. Well, I'll see. If they say no, we're not going to serve you, then we'll file a complaint. I mean, they, um, I understand ladies, you're trying to enforce ladies, their feelings, but that's okay. Ladies, if you guys don't want him to record, just tell him he can't record. If he can't, if you guys are uncomfortable with him recording you, then you can decline his business, and then he can either turn his camera off and handle his business. Okay. I don't know why he recorded. Yeah, but but this, but this lady right here just came back and told them that I can. So. That, that you could record the office, but she just told you, but not with me on camera. If I'm not giving you consent to record it, you go around. Right? See, so you're doing you're, it now. You're, you're recording her now. That's, that's correct. No, that's, that's not, not a violation, man. I'm finna, I'm, I'm finna conduct my now. business. No, you're not. If you don't want him in here recording you, then don't, then don't serve him. Are you the supervisor, sir? Right. We, ask, well, we will suspend services to the public because the public is sharing personal information uh, over the counter. So we ask that you don't record okay. in the presence of people who are sharing personal information at the counter. Okay. Can, can I, can I, because I got a rebuttal for that. What's your name, sir? My name is George. George. What I'm trying to convey, to, what I'm trying to convey to everybody here. The first young lady had raised up an issue about me recording. She went to the back and spoke to someone and said, 
He can. He can record. So she's aware of the rights we have. Now, the other lady, her right there, when they grabbed her, she's trying to enforce feelings, sir. I'm talking about the rights that I have. It's bigger than someone feeling a certain way. All I have to do is record in public, <coughs> and I have to file a FOIA. I, I, I mean, if she does, I mean, if they do that, if you want to shut that, that's a violation of all their rights, too. I, don't, I, I caution you to do that. Supersedes theirs, so that's basically what you're that's, talking It's about. not about anybody's rights superseding anything, it's about my rights not going to be trampled she on. She has a right to not want her information no, recorded. You're violating, I'm not, right I'm not recording her information. It says no cell phone usage. Yeah, right. yeah that, 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 no cell phone usage sounds like you don't call anybody while you're in here. I mean, it's it's not your interpreting. That's interpretation. Okay, well, it's not direct. So, wow, I just heard somebody say, and he's black, which is another black person. Um, and making it, they always make it about race, man. Pitiful though. Deputy, you willing to give your name and uh, your name and badge number? When you give me yours, I just told you my no, name. When you give me yours on a sheet of paper, give me your name, your YouTube video, because I'm gonna have to do a report. If you don't a want report to for what? With that, then you can leave. Oh well, it's a public building. I don't have to leave. It, it, you can leave if you're causing a disturbance. I'm not causing a causing, disturbance. That's your word against mine. You're causing a disturbance. Ma'am, you can't convert a constitutional okay. right into a crime. Again. I'm not gonna let you do it. Okay. Okay, so let's go down the list, shall we? And I'll do my best to make sure I don't miss anything important. This lady refused to identify her name and badge number as a sheriff deputy. She told the ladies inside of that clerk's office to deny this man's service and that they do have the right to not be recorded without consent, which couldn't be further from the truth, obviously. She was trying to incite chaos with both the public servants in there and the customers. She was way too stubborn to realize that God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason, and from the very beginning of her interaction with him, she treated the Tyrant Terminator like he was some kind of toddler. You saw her hand movements and how condescending she was, being all like, Come on, let's go, let's leave the building, come on. Truly ridiculous, I mean, what else could I have missed in this? Oh yeah, how about the fact that she refused to get a supervisor involved because she is a quote-unquote supervisor? And how she got into that position is way beyond me. Couldn't be through her work ethics, I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, there was this one part where she even stated that Tyrant Terminator Audits was committing black-on-black -black crimes. And again, I cannot stress enough, what crime did he even commit? Trying to get other people's private information? I watched this entire interaction myself and I saw nothing of the sort. Recording people without their consent? Plain View Doctrine and the First Amendment Freedom of Press. No crime was committed here, and it's a shame that this lady doesn't realize that. But don't worry, it gets worse. Because this is the interaction that follows when the Tyrant Terminator proceeds to file a complaint against this lady, and she proceeds to do this. So, so, okay, so you're saying right here is the police, the, this is the police department? So what if, she, maybe she works for you guys. It's possible. Yeah, her right here. Yeah, yeah. This this this, this lady hey, here. Hey, how are you? Get his uh, name and, and let him file his little report that he wants to file because we're charging him with. This is the supervisor of the records department. He does not know what his legal rights are. So as soon as he makes an official report, I'll have his information. We'll file a complaint and then he'll be dealt. Okay. So, uh, uh, like I said, I would need to speak to someone higher than her because obviously she's trying to trample on my rights further. And she's doing it on camera, so. Now, I know a lot of cops commit First Amendment retaliations, but I think this might be the very first time I've ever seen any police officer or sheriff deputy actively and blatantly admit to committing a First Amendment retaliation. She quite literally stated that once he files the complaint, we will have information on that guy and we will charge him with something. If that doesn't scream retaliation to you guys, I simply don't know what will. And that's not even to mention the fact that her commander was quite uninformed as well. Now, luckily, the Tyrant Terminator was able to submit a FOIA request at the clerk's office, as well as file a complaint against Kim. And thankfully so at that. Even though I'm pretty sure it's just not going to go anywhere, because we all know cops like to stick up for each other. This is a known fact. But I sincerely hope that TTA does a revisit to this place. He absolutely needs to. Once he's ready to, of course. I know there's plenty of other places in Cook County alone, aka Crook County, that need some First Amendment auditing. 
But we are curious to know what the rest of you think about this, so like we said before, let us know in the comments down below. What's more important, however, is that you go ahead and go subscribe to the Tyrant Terminator, stay tuned for any updates to his other situations, and let him know the recognizing our rights said hello. And also, please make sure you check out our secondary channel on YouTube, assuming you want to see some more gaming content, specifically on War Thunder, that channel being Skyj the First. Thank you all once again for watching everybody, and with that being said, we will see you all tomorrow. There is just one other thing we want from you, and that would be to never stop loving the Constitution.